So tell me a little bit about future paleontology. I know in Australia we haven't found as many dinosaur fossils. Um, somebody, I read it somewhere, I could be wrong, that is probably, you know, we're not at the right scale of erosion or something. I don't know how that works, because that also matters. Like, I mean, it could be like 100 meters below, you know, like yeah. that also matters where you are. And North America and China are in the perfect position right now in this part of our uh, history. And Europe also has developed and as, uh, you know, as much as in Western sciences, is still lagging behind. And we now, after um, North America, now we're seeing huge number of discoveries in China. What, what's with Europe and Australia? What, what, what's going on? Okay, well, there's two different stories there. Australia, as I said earlier, part of the continent of Australia is incredibly ancient. And Australia has been a continental area for like, well, ever, literally. And um, this means that the kind of the rock has kind of piled on top of it, but it hasn't been involved in too many collisions with other continents. So the, the rocks haven't been bent up a lot. They're kind of flat lying for a lot of the a lot of it. There's a bit, there's a bit. Um, but some of those are the, 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 the where it has been bent up, we're seeing cores of very, very old rocks. So this means that well, if we want to get down to the rocks of the right age, because obviously to find dinosaurs, we have to be looking at rocks that are from the Mesozoic period. Um, you, you can find them, and, and there's some around the coast in Victoria, for example. Um, but it, they tend to be just weathering out on the coasts and on the cliffs. And that means that um, it's difficult to, to find the fossils. And sometimes farmers have um, plowed up fossils um, in Australia as well. Um, but yeah, you're right. The, the, a lot of the, the ground level isn't, the rocks of the right, the right age just aren't, aren't there. Um, right. and, and there's not much we can do about that except wait for a few more million years until erosion gets, <laughs> gets there. Um, right. In Europe, I mean, actually in Europe, to be fair, um, you know, the first dinosaurs were found in Europe. The word dinosauria was invented um, by Sir Richard Owen, who was the founder of the Natural History Museum. Um, so dinosaurs have a long, long history of discovery um, in Europe um, and, and in the UK, but also um, across the rest of Europe. And we do have a lot of, uh, of fossils. We do have rocks of the right age. The ones that I'm sat on right here in my house and below me are actually the rocks where the first dinosaurs were found. But right. um, what we have here is the wrong climate. So we have um, a lot of trees um, we have a lot of greenery. We have a lot of houses. Um, and, and this means that the rocks aren't exposed at the surface. So we've got the right age rocks, but they're all covered in soil and trees and stuff like that. So we also have to rely on going to the coasts, and um, particularly where I live here in Sussex, and we have to go to the coast and have a look um, to find our dinosaurs here. Um, but um, actually, you know, throughout Europe, there, there, there's a lot of dinosaurs that, that, that are known. So we don't suffer quite from the sampling issues that Australia does. And with so now uh, with America and China, it's just because they're just the right place, at the right time. And uh, what Badlands of Montana, they say there's anyone yeah. who walks in, you can just find some old dinosaur bone. Exactly. So much of the West of America, um, you know, the, 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 as in the cowboy West, um, is uh, is a desert. So yeah, there's not much vegetation there, and also there's hardly any people there, at least compared to the UK. Maybe not compared to right. parts of Australia, but you know, there are hardly any people there. So um, that means that there's not a lot of trees, there's not a lot of houses, um, or or indeed anything. Um, so yeah, there's there's lots of opportunity, there's lots of exposure of rock. You can see the rock at the surface of the earth, and, and that's perfect for finding fossils. Um, with China, it's a massive country, obviously different climatic zones. Um, some of their um very, very famous recent discoveries have been made in quarries, and we've got lots of quarrying going on. Um, but also a lot of there's been a lot of dinosaurs from places like um, Mongolia and the Gobi Desert. Uh, no trees and houses there either. So yeah. Right. Okay. Quick fire questions. Who would win a fight between Giganotosaurus and T Rex? I have absolutely no idea. Let's go T Rex. Is, is it, no, but I, I've heard some theories because people say Giganotosaurus was it, it wasn't as thickly built as T Rex. Like the jaws. Not as it, it looked a bit brittle, and T Rex's teeth are like much more, you know, like stronger and sturdier. Uh, does that look like it is the strongest dinosaur, maybe ever? I don't know. Just come on, just say yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, good. I don't know whether it's untestable, and that's why I'm unwilling to comment as a scientist. Yeah, but we, yeah, but one day we might be able to find Jurassic Park. How, how, can Jurassic Park really actually happen? Can we find old blood? Um, uh, at the moment, um, so we have found dinosaur blood, um, but it is decayed. So we don't have. Um, it's not in its in its kind of dinosaur blood state. It's it's just the the, the remnants of the proteins 
um, that are in the blood. Um, we've also found other soft tissues, um, but as of now, there is no DNA. So um, the oldest DNA in the fossil record is about one million years old. So no oh. Jurassic Park can't, can't happen right now, which is good, I think, because we saw that film, right? You know what happened. Yeah, that but fun. that was so cool. No, yeah. that was so cool. I mean, just, yeah. No, I reckon I could manage it better. But um, 